Hey, come on. I thought we had some work to do inside. What are you doing? I'm playing with... Hey, oh, filming geez. this? Yeah, I am. Well, look, look what I got. I got my old Simon cell phone. Come the, on. Yeah, this was made by IBM and Bell South in 1994. I actually used this brick back in the day. And I found the back for it to hook it up to a cigarette lighter adapter to use it because I don't know where the battery is for it right now. But you slide this battery pack on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look inside this. You can see the production dates, 1994, date code. Ooh, this is the information on the back of this. And for all you people watching this right now, if we actually post this, because it'll probably suck, this is the very first smartphone that was ever made. This is both, most phones up to this point were stupid as a stick, sort of like half the people I know holding cameras right now. But you snap this thing on the back, and I'm going to boot this up for the first time since, when did I use this last, 1997 or 98? Hey guys, back in the day, this was expensive. This thing cost like a thousand bucks. It was like $800 worth of plan. And there's this card that pops out. It was, this memory card was called like a PCMICIA, blah, 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 card. M-O-U-S-E. Yeah, and this, yeah, and this stupid card in the day was like four or five hundred bucks at least and it was um 1.8 meg of memory 1.8 meg about as much as one of those early ugly little floppy disk gets so come on let's see if this thing still functions let's let's turn on the switch and see if it does something you gotta wind it up or oh something. there it is there it is look 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 the keyboard is up mm -hmm. the keyboard did come up here let me turn it this way are you seeing this without any glare there? There's the keyboard. No, all it's glaring is your, all it's reflecting is your ugly face. Oh, Jesus. Well, we don't want anyone to see that. No, Can you see not. it? Can you see it in the, the picture? No, it's very hard to get a shot. Well, what about like this? Here, let me, let me have this. Let me have this. Oh, yeah, look, it's very reflective. Very reflective. It's very, very reflective. It actually is trying to focus on the reflection rather than the device. This is the first smartphone, guys, and it's a touch phone. And here's at the bottom. Yeah, well, don't touch it right yet because I want to do. Hey, 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 get your fingers off working. of it. I'm uh, it, it works fine. I'm no, it. no, working. it works fine. You have to do it the right way. It's broken. And, no, it's not broken. It, well, I don't know. We'll find out in a second. But there's to send emails. There's to use the telephone. There's the, there's the help. Don't push that yet. Nothing's happening. Well, the cell phone service doesn't exist anymore for this phone. I don't even think that they have this. Oh, look what data thinks it is. 1497, probably the last time I ever used it. No service. Um, quick dial. Now, this has the most interesting thing for emails. Let me, let me push emails here so you can see this. Okay, I pushed there's... that and it didn't do anything. Because you have to push it. You have to push it the right way. Now, look, they had apps. Here's It was called Mobile Office, and you actually had to update this, and you could get different apps, just like your iPhone. And these are the apps that I had in it. Of course, Sketchpad, um, Mail. You could send text messages with this. You could send a fax right from your phone. You said you can actually fax from your phone. Calculator, um, filing cabinet. Um, you could keep everything in here. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a game there, too. Um, Scrabble. So anyway, you could download all these apps. You could fill it with all the apps you wanted, but you're not going to fit many in a phone that has a memory card that has 1.4 meg in it. So you're kind of limited. Mm. Yeah, 1.8, sorry, 1.8 meg. So anyway, if you wanted to actually put something in your to-do list or in your address book, it's so funny. Here, I'll go to the notepad so you can see this. This had a, this had a keyboard that was predictive. It was a predictive keyboard. Here's the notepad. Oh, the, the keyboard shiny, isn't up shiny here. Head. New note. Oh, no, What's it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine here. Shut up. It's fine. Put a hat on. No, no. Here's the new note. This is their predictive keyboard, right? Here. Type the note's new name. Sort of like up to eight correct? letters. No, it isn't like that. It's so weird. This is called predictive. It's guessing that the first letter you're going to type into your note is one of those six letters, right? So let's say if you wanted to begin the note. Um, what if it's not? Well, what you would do is you would click other. So let's say if I was going to put new page. Say I'm going to call it new page and there's no N. I would have to push other and it would give me the next batch. So being predictive, you'd choose N. So now there's the N, which is typed up there. N. Now it's guessing the next letter is probably one of these, which it is. So E. Now it's going to guess W. W. This was a good, this was a good thing. Now you push space down here. Here's space. So we'll, we'll call it we'll call it new page. Now there's no P there, so you click other. There's the P. So if you push P, it's going to give you A. There's A. See, it's guessing G. And it's going to guess the next one is E. Oh, look, it didn't get it. Oh, it didn't get register the G. I have to push a little bit harder here. And there's the E. So now I'm calling this note new page, right? So now that's there. So I have to push enter up here, guys. I actually used this device. 
I think I accidentally just shut it off by mistake. I pushed, pushed the end button instead. Let me turn this thing back on. Here, let's see. Let's see if it boots back up here. Yeah, here it is. The little screen turns this sort of a hazy black color when it first boots. It's reflecting your shiny head. It's yet. reflecting. Look. Stop it. I'm just showing you. I'm trying to get it to start back up again. Here it comes. <laughs> Okay, here, it open up to the note. I, usually, it shouldn't save the note because I didn't save it officially, so it's going to go back to the hourglass. There's the little hourglass thingy. Here's you a, here's a close-up. I know, I'm at a different angle. There's what it's called, Simon, the first smartphone ever made. This is, remember, this was introduced in 92. This is 1992 technology here. That means anything that this thing can do should be in the public domain right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's telling me that I, that I shut the power off. That's what happened. Yeah, I know I didn't save it. Blah blah blah. So, and look at the size of this thing. This thing is like this huge brick. This thing is like you could kill somebody with this device. And you have to press hard on this this little keypad. It didn't come with the stylus. See, at the time there were PDAs and there were cell phones, but they didn't have the two together. The plan for this phone cost something like four or five hundred bucks a month because you had to pay you had to pay like five bucks for a text message. And then they used the phone. It was like $4 a minute or something ridiculous because nobody had cell phones. Whoops. But I had to go into New York City all that. This is my FJ Cruiser inside. Hold on a second. So this is, the phone won't work now, but there's games. Here, let's try Let's try the game, see if the games still work. If you're bored with this, you probably have left already, so I don't have to apologize. I'm bored of it. He's bored of it already. So let me go back to this. I think that the apps are here with the mail. Come on. You have to push this really freaking hard. Here it comes. So let's go, let's see if Scrabble works. Here's Scrabble. Yeah, there it is. There's the Scrabble tiles. I don't remember how to play this thing. So anyway, what you've just seen is the very first, is the very, very, very first smartphone ever made. You can look this up on Wikipedia. I have no idea what they go for on eBay. This is something, and all the antennas did that. Well, you see what happened is you'd leave it in the car to charge up and left the dog in the car. They love gnawing on these antennas. So that's why they sort of went bad. So that was probably Cocoa Puff when she was a puppy. Actually, I think this is pre-Cocoa Puff. And this is, look at the cable. Here's the cable to attach it to sync it to your computer. <laughs> Here's the end of it. I just pulled this out because we're going through our warehouse archive right now. There's, there's what you attach it to the phone with. And I thought I would share this with you. The world's first smartphone ever made. And this is actually very important prior art. That means that all these features should be in the public domain right now because this phone is 20 years old. And I didn't have all the apps. Here's the back button. Let me push back. We'll go back to the apps again. I used to have card games in this thing. Uh, I think the phone just just quit again. I'm using my, my iPod Touch. Can you see it in the reflection there? But this has been Mike Mozart of the Toy Channel and Jeepers Media on YouTube oh, and Toy so Reviews. Hey, technically this is a toy. All these smartphone devicey things are a toy, right? Do you want to see more smartphone, smart devices? I saved everything I ever had in my whole life like this. And some of these are really collectible right now. Hey, thanks again. Oh, wait, wait, Coco Puff's in the back seat. Coco Puff, Coco, Coco. Our oh, head's over here, Coco. There she is, there's the Coco Puff. What a good girl, yay! Since I'm not gonna put sound effects, yay! <laughs>